Well, I think it was the same as the report. There wasn't much change. Uh, it was, to me, the same as the report. And there's no obstruction. You see what we're saying. There's no obstruction. There's no collusion. There's no nothing. It's nothing but a witch hunt. This is a witch hunt by the media and the Democrats, their partners. And it keeps going. Uh, I thought it was finished when the report was released, but it goes on. And it, to me, it was the same, frankly, as the report. And he said, basically, it was the same as the report. I think he's totally conflicted because, as you know, he wanted to be the FBI director, and I said no. As you know, I had a business dispute with him after he left the FBI. We had a business dispute, uh, not a nice one. He wasn't uh, he wasn't happy with what I did, and I don't blame him. But I had to do it because that was the right thing to do. But I had a business dispute, and he loves Comey. Uh, you look at the relationship that those two. So whether it's love or a deep like, but he should. He was conflicted. Look, Robert Mueller should have never been chosen because he wanted the FBI job and he didn't get it. And the next day, he was picked as special counsel. So you tell somebody, I'm sorry, you can't have the job. And then after you say that, he's going to make a ruling on you. It doesn't work that way. Plus, we had a business dispute. Plus, his relationship with Comey was extraordinary. Now, one other thing I'll say. Why didn't he investigate Strzok and Page and McCabe and Comey and all the lies and Brennan and the lies and Clapper and the lies to Congress and all of the things that happened to start this investigation. Why didn't Comey come clean? Why didn't Comey come clean and say the things that he knows are fact? Why didn't Mueller investigate Comey, his best friend or his very good friend? And there's so many other things. Here's a question. This is a study of Russia. Why didn't they invest the insurance policy? In other words, should Hillary Clinton lose, we've got an insurance policy. Guess what? What we're in right now is the insurance policy. I think he is a total conflicted person. I think Mueller is a true never-Trumper. He's somebody that dislikes Donald Trump. He's somebody that didn't get a job that he requested that he wanted very badly, and then he was appointed. And despite that, and despite $40 million, 18 Trump haters, including people that work for Hillary Clinton and some of the worst human beings on earth, they got nothing. It's pretty amazing. No, Russia did not help me get elected. You know who got me elected? You know who got me elected? I got me elected. Russia didn't help me at all. Russia, if anything, I think helped the other side. What you ought to ask is this. Do you think the media helped Hillary Clinton get elected? She didn't make it. But you take a look at collusion between Hillary Clinton and the media. You take a look at collusion between Hillary Clinton and Russia. She had more to do in the campaign with Russia than I did. I had nothing to do. And by the way, that's one other thing. If you look, this was all about Russia, Russia, Russia. They don't talk about Russia anymore because it turned out to be a hoax. It was all a hoax. And then they say, gee, he fought back. Isn't that terrible? He fought back. Of course I fight back because it was a false accusation, a totally false accusation. And it's a disgrace. And it's a very, it's a very sad period for this country. And I think in the end, I will consider what's happening now to be one of my greatest achievements, exposing this corruption. I don't see how they can, because they're possibly allowed, although I can't imagine the courts allowing it. I've never gone into it. I never thought that would even be possible to be using that word. To me, it's a dirty word the word impeach. It's a dirty, filthy, disgusting word. And it had nothing to do with me. So I don't think so, because there was no crime. You know, it's high crimes and, not with or or. It's high crimes and misdemeanors. There was no high crime and there was no misdemeanor. So how do you impeach based on that? And it came out 
that there was nothing to do with Russia. The whole thing is a scam. It's one of it's a giant presidential harassment. And honestly, I hope it goes down as one of my greatest achievements because I've exposed corruption. I've exposed corruption like nobody knew existed. I barely know where to begin, David Jellian, um, because he touched on so many different topics. What was most newsworthy to He did, but I've never heard him be this aggressively angry uh, at Robert Mueller. I mean, clearly, Mueller appearing on camera yesterday and say, reciting from the report uh, that he did not clear the president of a crime, that's gotten under the president's skin. This isn't just wanting a fight. This is a, an angry, exasperated president who is desperate to move on from this, and there's no moving on because of all these hovering investigations, and Mueller's still speaking as this of yesterday. Absolutely the most aggressive he's ever been on, Robert Mueller. He dialed it up to 11 there, calling him conflicted, but calling him a true never-Trumper. David Gregory, and also saying that Mueller wanted the FBI job, which Jeffrey Tubin is done reporting on this, says is just simply not true. Mueller was brought in by the White House and the president to talk about a job, which he'd already had for longer than anyone, besides J. Edgar Hooper, by the way. Uh, and the president was saying he was conflicted because he wanted that job, but I didn't give it to him. Yeah, I'm still reacting now since presidential palooza. I mean, that's really, uh, it's the only way to begin understanding uh, a display like that, but I think being so pointed toward Mueller, this is classic Trump, as we've seen him in the presidency, which is to aggressively use shock and awe and overwhelming force against any of his enemies or perceived enemies uh, to try to capture the narrative uh, and to dictate the narrative against this special prosecutor who um, he didn't deserve because of Mueller's integrity and the way he conducted this investigation to get to the end point to say, um, he would not bring charges, that there was not a conspiracy and that it's up to Congress to to ultimately determine obstruction, but that he couldn't uh, be exonerated. So uh, it did bring to light something, I think, in these comments from Trump that were Mueller to testify, you can be sure Republicans will be galvanized by what the president is saying and they will cross-examine Mueller about the conduct, the genesis of the investigation, the conduct of the investigators from Strzok and others, he will be put on the defensive. And I think that's one of the reasons Mueller doesn't want to testify. He doesn't want to be a political football for either side. Uh, and I think that came through here. One last point is, for Russia, which, you know, the, the sobering part of all of this, amid all of the, the screaming and yelling, is that Russia interfered in the 2016 election. It was dangerous. Um, they engineered the use of fake information to try to influence the public. The president does that himself in the way he speaks about it. And he is giving shade, he's giving cover for Russia to do it again instead of taking it really, really seriously, despite protestations saying he is taking it seriously. He's not when he calls the whole thing a scam. Russia was up to something very serious and they pulled it off. He completely undermines whatever attempts his administration uh, makes on this front. You're absolutely right, David. And this is why Bob Mueller both opened and closed with this in his statement. This is the actual national security threat to the United States, and the president uh, just isn't having any of it. Robert Mueller said, I will close by reiterating the central allegation of our indictments that there were multiple systemic efforts to interfere in our election and that allegations deserve the attention of every American. Thank you. Thank you for being here today. Every American, which includes the president of the United States, who again today called it all a hoax. I think that there were a few things. I mean, just all today, the window into the psyche of where the president is today. Um, I mean, him saying that he thinks that his greatest achievement, I hope it goes down as one of my greatest achievements, that he will investigate the investigators. I mean, that is how strongly he feels about, I guess, getting back at them. I mean, about... Yeah, the, but I think it's also it's also making this a winning issue for him in 2020. I mean, right. this is the thing that he understands, which is how to dominate the media narrative. And this argument is his 2020 argument to use as a weapon back against Democrats.